the unending optimism over prospects for an economic recovery continued to overshadow everything else in the markets. The markets pushed stocks higher, even on the day Donald Trump escalated his war of words with China. Apparently, much of this was expected as there was nothing about the trade deal and nothing with teeth. And apparently, withdrawing from the World Health Organization is not going to destroy the markets. Who knew? The S&P 500 ended May positively and capped a second monthly advance. Stocks gained 4.5% in May on the hopes the economy is still stirring after shutting down in April. Even the escalation between the president and Twitter could not hold back the market's advance. And once again, I'm the boy who's calling Wolf. I would like to repeat my caution that the VIX stubbornly hovers in the upper 20s and could pop at any moment, so be cautious. And in other news, Forbes reported Friday that Kylie Jenner lied about being the world's youngest billionaire, strategically misleading Forbes and the rest of the world with calculated lies, including what appears to be falsified tax returns. So apparently she is only worth about $900 million. And yet Uber, which hasn't earned a dime, is still worth about $63 billion. That makes sense to me. So let's go take a look at the charts. So today we're going to look at two quick charts, beginning here with the SPY, the spiders. This is the six-month daily, the close on Friday, 304.32. Looking at the price chart, the important thing to pay attention to is this channel. Here's the bottom line of the channel. Not very straight, but you get the idea. And the top line through here. Now, even though we're in an uptrend, I'm not quite sure what is behind the move. But if we do break out above this channel here, then I'll have the confidence in saying that we are in a bull market. If we break below here, then I'll have the confidence to say that maybe we're going to have a correction. But it does seem to be wandering in this upward trend. We've seen that before. I'll show you that in a second. Volume looks fine. And then here into the mat, looking at this last three weeks or so, we're trending sideways, very similar to what we were trading like in early 2020. That put us asleep and then the market cracked. So pay attention. You see the same thing here in the histogram and moving down here into the price rate of change. You can see the sideways trending here in this uh, area there, very similar to this there in early 2020. So be cautious. Pretty much the same thing there with a the relative strength. We did have that bottom and we are moving on up. I'd like to see this move on up into that overbought territory. And that too could be a possible indication that we're in a bull market. But on the other side is the stochastics. It looks like we want to sort of turn over here. Looks like a little bit of topping process just beginning. Down here into the Williams, somewhat the same. Looks like a topping process here, so we're going to have to pay attention. Nothing convincing one way or the other, so just keep watching. Moving back up to the price chart, one last look. Keep that channel, these lines in mind. And now let's go to our last chart. And then again, the six-month daily on the VIX, and the symbol is VIX, well, the dollar sign VIX. And as you can see here, this is what I've been talking about for uh, several weeks now, and it appears to be trying to bottom here. It's trying oh so hard, hasn't done it yet, but it's uh, getting very close. And we're in the upper 20s. I would feel much more comfortable if we were below 20. But in the upper 20s, it has the possibility of spiking to 30, 40, to 50. And if that happens, it can cause a downtrend in the market, a very sharp downtrend, depending upon how quickly the VIX moves up. Looking down here in the lower portion of the chart, you can see that the MAC had one attempt, two attempt, and the fast line on its third attempt did go above the slow line and they're both moving sideways. So a little bit of a, a trance 
trying to put the investors to sleep. And if it does, it can strike. So be cautious, be careful. And for today, that's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you. <laughs>